Hi there, welcome in your Eindcode lecture. My name is Philip, and in this video we'll be talking about normalized method. So let's start, open Unity, and one more thing, if you would like to work on the same project as I'm working currently, then open the link in the description of this video. This will download your zip file, unzip the file, and let's add it into Unity Hub. So I'll click here, add, add this file and open the project, and you should see the same project as I am working on. If you still don't see it, go to Project, Assets, Open Scenes and double click here, Sample Scene. Okay, so if we have the same project, we can finally talk about normalize method. Okay, let's play the game first, so we'll see what's, what's happening here. So what we can do in the game, we can just move, okay? So we can press the arrow keys or keys WASD and this will move the player. In the movement of a player, you will usually use this normalize, normalize method because you can notice when you're moving along the x-axis, along the horizontal axis, you are moving the constant speed. When you're going up and down, you are moving constant speed. When you are pressing the, let's say, right key and the up key at the same time, so you're going in this diagonal direction, you are moving much faster. Okay, and that's the, that's the thing with the normalize method. It will provide you the constant speed at all directions. But first we need to explain why we are moving the different speed at the diagonal direction. Okay, let's play, pause the game, let's go in the scene and let's click on the player. Let's see the current direction, current position of the player. Current position of the player is zero on the X and the Z is a zero as well. What I need to do if I would like to move on the one, one direction, on one, one position, I need to move X on the one and Z on the one and this will move the player on the po position one, one. Okay. So basically what I need to do, I need to increase my, I will draw it here, okay? So I need to increase my X direction. That's from the previous lecture, okay? So I need to increase my X direction by one. Here is the X, Z direction by one. Okay, and then this will move me on the, on the position one, one, right? So that's how we are moving. We are just increasing, we are playing with the positions. Okay, so why we are then moving faster when we are going diagonal direction? First of all, let's think what's happening when we are moving just on the one direction. So let's say we are moving only on the X direction. So let's say this is X1, okay? Here is X1. So what's the length of this vector? What's the magnitude of this vector? The magnitude of this vector is one. Okay, so we are, that's why we are moving the one, one units per second. When we are going just the up direction, we are going up on the Z axis. Again, what's the length of this when we are moving just one unit, when I will press here Z1. Again, the length of this vector is one, so that's why we are moving one unit per second. But when we are bo moving the both directions, so I'm moving here at the Z and I'm moving the same on the X also. Okay, so X here, here is a Z. Then the final vector, so this is the position when I will move, this final vector, you can even see it straight from the eye, this is longer. So this magnitude of this vector is longer. Okay, I will explain you this by, co by computing one equation soon, but also let's debug log one thing. Let's click here assets if you have the same project, a player controller. Here you have a movement vector and Let's see this magnitude I was talking about. So let's write here debug log and uh, movement dot magnitude. All right. Let's go to Unity and let's play the game and you will see what's the length of the vector, what's the magnitude. Let's see, console is zero when we are not moving. When I'm moving to the right, the length of the vector is one. When I'm moving to the left, the length of the vector is one. Up, it's one. Down, it's one. When I'm moving the both directions, up and right, you can see the length of the vector will be larger. So it's a 1.414. Okay, same, it will happen when I will move the diagonally on the down direction, 1.404. Okay, you can see this distance of the vector is larger. It's uh, The vector is uh, has a bigger magnitude. That's why we are moving faster at diagonal direction. Okay, so when you will use here, movement, so vector tree, and you will use the function normalize. This will normalize vector, and your magnitude of the vector, doesn't matter on which direction you will move, will be always one. 
So this will normalize this vector so they will play the game. Now the magnitude will be always one. Doesn't matter what direction I'm moving, it's always one. I'm sorry for interrupting this lecture, but I would like to just remind you that if you are looking for the extensive course on how to build the games in Unity, then you can find such a course at Einicode Academy. You are going to build three full grown games in Unity, starting with the basic stuff and finishing with a fully featured RPG genre game where you can fight, explore and complete quests. So in a case you are interested, you can check all the information at academy.eindcode.com. All right, now let's explain this mathematically. Okay, so let's go to an open browser. Here is the grid system. You can imagine this, this view from up as we are seeing it here. Let's say the point here we cannot just say, but the point here is really zero, zero on the X and the Z. So this is the start of the grid system here, right? Okay, so same same grid system I will show you now on the paper. Okay, here. So now let's imagine this direction we are moving right on the, this is the X I will say here. I will mark it as an X. Here is an X and here is a Z. Okay, so we are moving one. So here is a one. Here is a one. Here is our player at zero, zero. Now we'll move one here. Okay, we'll move up here one. Okay. So the length of these vectors is one, one. Okay, here is one. Here is one. So the our final vector where we will move, final position will be here, right? So I'll also try to write it straight, but it's quite hard on the mouse. Okay, so here is this one, one position. 1, 1. Okay, now I will draw here this final vector. And you can see straight from the eye this vector is longer, the magnitude is bigger. S opposing to this or this upper one. Okay, so how we can find the, the, the distance, how we can find the length of this vector. Okay, you can see here there is the right triangle. So I can mark this uh, side as a C. How can you compute the C part? You know this part, right? So this is the one length, and this is also one. This is the one. Okay, so this is the one, one, and we are looking for a C. So you can see here straight away that this is a Pythagorean theorem. So the C squared, so hypotenuse, equals A squared plus base squ B squared, so A squared plus uh, B squared, which is a C squared, is equal one squared, because A is one. We can mark this as an A. And is a b. Okay, so plus one squared. So c squared is equal to one plus one because i one squared is one. So one plus one is two. And then c. Okay, we need to put a square root of the c. So c is equal to the square root of two. Okay, so what is the square root of two? Now you can drag your calculator. So it should be something bigger than a one. Okay, so. Okay, let's open a calculator, right? So calculator and okay, so okay, second square of two, square root of two is 1.404. Okay, this number is quite familiar, right? So it's a C is something around 1.404. And that's the magnitude of this vector, how we are moving diagonally before we are normalizing. Okay, guys, so that's what I showed you when we debug log this magnitude before we are normalizing. So I'll comment it out again, and that's the length you could see when we are normalizing here. Before normalizing, right? So going diagonally, 1.404, 1.404, or something close to it, at least, okay? All right, so what is actually happening when we are normalizing? Let's uh, debug log entire vector, okay, before normalizing. So I will debug log here entire vector. Okay, so when we are moving this diagonal direction before normalizing, so make sure the normalize is commented out or deleted. So when we are moving this diagonal direction, we are changing x and the z direction of a one. So I will move up right here, upright. You can see one, one. X and the z is a one. Okay. Okay, when I will move down, it will be minus values, of course, and so on. When I will move just right, I'm just increasing the x value, minus one, and so on. Okay, so depending on which side I'm going. But we are interested in this diagonal movement up here where it's one, one. So that's the exact movement I, am, I, I, I have drawn here. So that's this movement, one, one. 
Okay, let's see what will happen with this movement vector when we will normalize. Okay, so I will, uh, will uncomment normalize and here I will provide this movement vector. Now we'll see what will happen with the movement. As I will be moving diagonally, you will get different values. So when I will move diagonally now, the values of this vector will be 0 0.7, 0 0.7. You could see it. I'm moving diagonally, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. So this, this normalized method, what it will do, it, it will squish the values of the x and the z position of the z, z uh, direction. So our magnitude of the final vector is exactly 1. Okay, you can see it when you will draw it, actually. I will, one more example. So we'll be not moving now. Okay, I'll remove all of this here. Actually, everything. So we could see that uh, after after uh, normalize, we had the value 0 0.7, so it could be here, and 0 0.7 here. So we are moving straight here, 0 0.7, 0 0.7 up here. All right like this. Okay, perfect. And now what's the our position when we are moving 0 0.7, 0 0.7? Okay, somewhere here, right? So this is the vector we are looking for. Okay, like this. And we know that it's 0 0.7. And here is the 0 0.7. And we are looking again for a C. So now grab your calculators and compute it again. So C squared equals 0 0.7 squared plus 0 0.7 squared. It should be 2. Uh, 0 0.7 squared is uh, 0 0.49. So C squared is 0 0.49 plus 0 0.49, right? And that C squared is equal. Uh, that should be 0 0.98 and I can say okay, that's that's close to the one so I can I can round it to the one okay so c squared is is one so so a second uh, square root of the c then of the one is one so c is one okay so the length of this of this vector is then one so that's why we are using the normalized method this will squish the x part and the z part so our final magnitude is indeed one and we are moving the same speed at the e each direction okay so that's gonna be it guys so if you ever wondered why we need to use here or why you are using the normalized function this will just squish your other parts of the vector so the final magnitude of the vector will be always one it doesn't matter in which direction you are you are moving so that's why we leave here normalize you can remove the debug lock and we'll be moving at a constant speed at each direction. Diagonal speed will be same as the speed when we are moving to the sides or up and down. All right, guys, so that should be it from uh, this video. If you're interested in more Unity lectures, check the channel. If you like today's video, please press the like button. It really helps me and I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in some of my other videos and I wish you a very nice day, guys. So cheers.